Hey guys, so in today's video, we're going to be doing something very interesting because first of all, my cooking skills from 1 to 10 are minus 5 and I'm hungry. So, you know, when you're hungry and you don't know how to cook, what do you do? You go online. I decided to try out the recipe from Tasty. They have some really cool recipes and I wanted to try out something simple, you know, I, I, I'm not really familiar with cooking, I don't do it that often. So I went to their YouTube channel and I came across their super fluffy omelette. Omelette may look really easy, in fact, it's not that easy. And today we're going to be doing a super fluffy one. Let's do this. The first step is we need five egg whites and three egg yolk. 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 You get what I'm talking about. One. Oh, my hands are shaking. Okay, so right in here I have three yolks and let's go ahead and break two more eggs and take their whites. What I'm gonna do with this yolk? I mean, I just throw it now? I don't wanna throw it. No, I did a mistake. Now we need to, to whisk the yellow parts of the egg. So, that looks so creamy. Okay, I guess that's enough. And then we need to do the same but with the whites. So I don't know if you guys can see these um, little black things in there. I don't like these. Like, at all. I'm removing them every time that I'm cooking eggs, but I guess today I'm just gonna leave them inside. One eternity later. That's too much energy spent on just one omelette. See, I don't want to burn that many calories on preparing my food. Wait, hold on. I, I have a better idea. I'm pretty sure that that's how they whisk it in the tasty video, they just didn't show it to us. Okay, that's not a good idea. Now we're mixing them up. I guess I, I need to be careful with this part so that I won't like break the bowels in the, in the whites that I just created with so much hard work. This is supposed to be our omelette. It doesn't look like an omelette, but we're gonna see. We're gonna put it in this pan here. They need low heat. What do you mean? How much is low heat? I have here from one to five. This might be a little bit too much for this pan. Hold on. I think that this was for two servings or something. I don't know. Oh my goodness. I mess it up. And then they put some butter under the un, under the yeah. Oh no, it's stuck. I totally messed that thing up. What's that? I don't think that this is going to be what I had in my mind, but I have some more and I'm gonna try a second time if this one goes even worse. But I hope it's not like, I mean, it doesn't look that bad. Oh, it actually kind of unstuck. I think that I'm doing good. I think that it's, it's going good. It looks good. It smells good. I don't know if it's gonna taste good. I mean, so far these are just some eggs but we're also going to add some salt some pepper hopefully that's going to make it more delicious but i don't know you guys it's it's so unusual like it looks so so different by the way this lid is not suitable for this pan 
which is a fail because I didn't know that I needed a lid while cooking this omelette but obviously I need it so I'm working with whatever I have and here we go oh you guys it looks good I mean it's not like theirs but it's not that bad it's also shaking like theirs look at some point when I first put the eggs in the pan I was like okay this is going to be a fail everything is just going wrong but it's not that bad now let's try out again now that I have a little bit more experience just gonna clean my pan this is again a lot is this for like three servings or something this is like way too much maybe my pan is small uh, I haven't thought of that okay now is the time that we need to put the butter under here see now i know what i'm doing it's not like the first time that i had no idea we give it five minutes now and hopefully it's going to be better than the first one this one kind of shrinked like it's it's a little bit smaller now i believe the lid is messing up the things because it's not it's not fitting on the pan and it's a little bit loose there is definitely going out so it it's not helping it actually this is the first time that i'm cooking in this pan mm, yeah and i had it for a while i think that the butter that we put under the omelette while it's cooking it's making a very nice crispy layer and it's kind of nice but look how it kind of smashed already this is the first one that we made and it's it doesn't look that good anymore it was nice and fluff and now it's like meh you know it's like somebody stepped on it nobody stepped on it but it looks like somebody did but yeah i think that this one is ready to go see how small it is it was covering the whole pan and now it's like oh i burned myself <sighs> let's try to make it look more beautiful maybe if i turn it on the other side yeah it's still kind of ugly <laughs> here we have omelette number one omelette number two which one is better i think that number two looks better but it's only because i just took it out of the pan i mean it's like fresh and this one he's been you know out for a while so now it's time for the taste test oh my god i forgot to put salt and pepper on the second one ah i can do it now don't tell anybody okay they look a little bit smashed to be honest with you so here we go looks very nice and fluffy it is so different like i'm i feel like i'm eating foam let's try out the first one maybe it was better This one has a little bit of a thicker layer because of the butter that makes it way better because if it's all like fluffy and foamy it's it's not good i know you guys i feel like my my mouth is full of something but it's it's most of it it's air <laughs> if i have to rate this from one to ten it will be five <laughs> it's not bad but it's also not good i don't like the texture it's it's so airy that i'm chewing but i'm not chewing you know you know what i'm talking about it's like i'm chewing air and it's not nice <laughs> maybe i didn't do it right i don't know i'm newbie but i would definitely prefer to have the classic omelette it's so so much better than than this like idea it's super nice it's super cool but i don't think that i'm gonna make this again first of all it's too much effort like i need to separate the whites from the yolks and then i need to mix them and then i have to be really careful how i bake it on the pan is it how we how i fry it or how i bake it i don't know you get what i'm talking about i have to be careful how to cook it on the pan because it has a little bit more specific technique where with the classical omelette it, it's not that much effort you just mix up the things there you throw them on the pan and it's like all nice and ready and i don't know i just don't like the airy texture it's it's 
it's weird. <laughs> I also don't like how much time it requires. Like this is supposed to be fast. You're making omelette when you're like super hungry and you want to have something quickly. And this is taking way too much time. Let me know if you'd like me to try out more recipes from Tasty. I think they have some really cool ideas and I would love to try them out. Maybe I can also try out some of the more complicated ones. I don't know, but um, let me know if you would like to see more videos like that. If you enjoyed watching this one, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to press that bell button right next to the subscribe button because that way you're going to be notified whenever I post a new video. You can also go ahead and check out my Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Oh, and also my main channel, I do makeup there. You're probably coming from there, but if you're not, I have a main channel, I'm doing makeup. So hope you guys had fun, hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!